Jones. You spent a lot of time and money figuring out the best turbo setup, the best way to get some boost into that engine. And the easiest way to compromise all of that is to give away that boost for free. Now, I know it sounds dramatic, but it is really easy to have a boost leak. I'm looking at a turbo that usually sees around 30 to 35 PSI on this relatively stock engine. I'm only getting 15 PSI, which is huge. And for gas engines, yeah, the biggest consequence here is that you're not making as much power as you could be, and you're messing with fuel mapping and all sorts of stuff because it's not getting the air that you would hope. But on a diesel engine, the consequences could be bigger. Now we're dealing with exhaust gas temps, which high EGTs are always the enemy for diesels. And with all that boost pressure that we're anticipating but not getting, we just end up over fueling the thing, driving up those EGTs and not only are we not making the power, but we're heating the crap out of our engine when we shouldn't be. I'm going to show you a pretty simple way to check. Make sure you don't have any boost leaks. I bought this four inch cap from Home Depot that goes right over the turbo and this little valve stem, again, super cheap guys. Or you can just buy a kit that's specifically made to test this. But again, saving money, we can test for boost leaks at home really cheaply and easily. So I'm well aware that I have a boost leak, but we're gonna test it anyways right now and show you what we would expect to see with a giant leak. Okay, you're just gonna wanna take the intake off of the front of the turbo and then put on our cap that we got. So typically this is the part where you would turn down uh, the regulator on your compressor to your desired boost level. Uh, right now this one is pushing out quite a bit of air. Like I said, max I'm looking for is 30 to 35 PSI, but I'm gonna have my compressor run higher just to make sure that I find any last potential leak. So for example, my compressor is running close to 100 PSI, and that's fine. The more the merrier, honestly. It'll show me any leaks that could spring up and become worse in the future. So we're just gonna get all these leaks out of here. Now when testing this, you're gonna to wanna to spray a little bit of soapy water or Windex or whatever the case on it. But I have found my leak. It's bad. So both this boot and this boot are leaking so much air, holy crap. I can fit my finger in this hole, holy crap. Check that out. That's a boost leak right there. I got two of them just like this. Sheesh. So I bought some new boots and new hose to put on this truck. Uh, I got some two and a half inch hose and this should fix my boost leaks. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install those and see where we're at. So now this thing's holding air. We know for a fact that we had some huge ass boost leaks and they're fixed. But the tail of the tape is the gauge. Let's see what this thing will put out. Be by far the most painful shot I've ever received. Don't get a shot in your ass cheek, especially antibiotics. Two cc's, like she started pushing the needle in and I start wincing and I, call me a pussy, I don't care. That thing freaking hurt. She's all, okay, you can sit down now. I'm like, I don't know if I want to sit down. So Jake, why'd you have to get a needle in your ass? So I put a nail through two of my fingers. <laughs> there's your entry wound, there's your exit wound, and there's your other entry wound. <laughs> well, we're building some boots now. I woke this truck up. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> this thing, oh. <laughs> wow. If you have boost leaks, don't be a man. God, dude, this is why you don't want to have boost leaks. You don't get this smile. I can't even stop. You don't get this smile if you have boost leaks. <laughs> Holy crap! This thing holds ass. Man, let me tell you, this is a different truck. Holy crap. Boost leaks suck, 
and they're so easy to take care of. It's giving away free power. Take care of your boost leaks. Uh, if you've been following along with this, you know that our zero to 60 has been delayed a lot. It's coming. We have a machine that'll run a zero to 60 time a lot quicker than factory. Seriously, this is a different truck underneath. It, it feels so much better. I can't even, ah, so much better. So if you haven't guessed the zero to 60 time yet, feel free to take a guess. Uh, you might win some super clean. Again, uh, the factory time was 13.1. That's with a bone stock truck, except a NV4500 transmission for the second gen. Other than that, engine wise, bone stock. Right now, we have fuel pin, 3200 gov spring, HX35 turbo, fixed boost leaks. Uh, we will have the timing advanced on the injection pump by the time we do our zero to 60. But again, now we're putting out 30 pounds of boost and this is a different truck. 13.1 stock, what is it gonna be upgraded? Let's hear it. All right, thanks guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.